we could never imagine the significance it could have had on, on the culture. So back then, we just had fun traveling around, battling people, and showing people, you know, like, look, this is our art form, and we know how to do it well. What do you think? What's up, party people? My name is Storm. I'm from Berlin. Uh, I represent the Cruise Battle Squad and Animatronic. Yeah, I've been breaking or I've been dancing since 1983 professionally. Most people know me as a dancer, so I think that dancing is probably uh, <laughs> the, pa the passion that I'm known for the most. And uh, I've been dancing since I was a very little child, since I was very small. Uh, I became a professional dancer with 14 already and uh, from there I went. So, uh, but with dancing I developed a lot more passions. I love traveling still until this day and I'm a very passionate father I think. Being a father is the most important one. I love my kid and uh, once he was born I never thought that I could develop so much love and a different love um, that I never experienced before. So. Um, you know, and that love is still growing every day. I was never a team sports person. You know, I played football, played handball, played basketball, you know, like almost like every team sport you can imagine. And I always had a lot more fun playing those games on the street than in an association where you had to be on position and you had to follow your trainer and do this and do that and learn about this, learn about I wanted to play. And so, so I never lasted long in team sports. I played handball for a long time, but only because our handball trainer was not a good handball trainer and he let us do whatever we wanted to do. Uh, we never really won games or anything and that also shows, you know, like, we weren't very passionate about handball then, but we were passionate about being together and just train together and have fun. When I was like 11, 12, at first I started roller skating, then after that I got into skateboarding, and through skateboarding, I got into breaking, popping, and so on and on. So you see that I was already a bit attached to everything that came from the United States. There was a moment when we, us as Battle Squad, when we, um, when we, we were participating at Battle of the Year in 91, and we just decided that, that from the prize money that we're making, we would buy tickets to go to New York to find out if there's still any remnants in the mecca of hip hop. It's like we met Quickstep, he was the only one back then. There was nobody else that was really living a, a, a b-boy life then, you know, like where you, people were really sharing, philosophizing and just talking about breaking all day. And, you know, like he was eager to find out things about us and what's happening in Europe. And we wanted to find out everything that was happening in New York at that time. Uh, he connected us with Legs. He connected us with Kenny. Well, Kenny is a different story. I had a phone number of Kenny. I called him twice. And uh, his wife back then, she told me off. She said, don't ever call again. You know, but then Maurizio, who saw Kenny at some point at New Music Seminar, um, he inspired Kenny to restart, basically. I wonder what his wife said about that. And uh, yeah, and I'm, of course, you know, like with the time. And then you, but we were not really the only ones. So we kept on building with New York. So I'm, I'm really happy about how it went, but uh, it's not that we made a plan back in the days and we laid it down. Okay, let's do this. And then in the year 2000, this is going to happen. You know, I was just lucky to be at the, at the right place at the right time. That's how I see it. But of course, we worked, we worked hard for it. There's, there's no general formula for anybody where you could say like, oh, you should live like that and it's going to make you happy. Whether people want to have a regular nine to five and that makes them happy, let them go. For me, I just realized the more I live my passion, the happier I become. The more I could be creative in life, the happier I become. You know, it's always my decision. For me, the most important thing was always to throw down and uh, be my own boss, basically. And that's another thing. It's tough, it's a 24-hour job, of course, but at least I have my, my life in my own hands.